Alrighty, everybody. So we are going to tackle Chapter 2, Section 3, the percent proportion. So first of all, remember a proportion, that's when we have some ratios that are equal. So for example, 1 half, we know that half is the same thing as 5 over 10. This is half, that's a half, both the same. These two are equal, this is a proportion. And the cool thing about proportions is remember cross products are equal. Now remember product, in case you forgot, a product is the answer to a multiplication question. So when I say cross products, the products of the numbers cross, meaning diagonal. So in this loop right here, I have two and five. So two times five should equal, and in this loop, one times 10, one times 10. And we check it with multiplication. Two times five is 10. One times 10 is 10. This is true, so this is true, which means 1 half equals 5 tenths. Now, now that we have the background out of the way, for our purposes, we're going to have this certain formula. And here's a little code for you. Um, the book says part over whole equals the percent. And remember, the percent is a number over 100. That is the percent. Now, I like to think of it as is over of equals the percent. So this is your part. And it's part of this whole. And it's going to equal a percent. Now, we're going to use these words kind of like a way to crack the code of some word problems we'll be presented with. So, in the word problems, you're going to be given the percent, the is, the of. You're going to be given all but one of these things. What you're going to do is you're going to put everything you know in this pattern, in this formula, and then you're going to solve for the missing piece. First, I'm going to show you an example where you have everything. There's nothing to solve in this example at all. I'm just going to show you how to fit the pieces where. So let's say 5 is 50 percent of 10. And we know this is true. 50 percent, that's half. 5 is half of 10. 5 is 50 percent of 10. But let's see how it works for this. The very first step always is to find your percent. Always find your percent. In this case, it's 50, so we're going to write 50 over 100. The next thing I want you to look for are your is and your of. And pretty literally, you look for the words there and you say, okay, the is. Well, the is is right by my 5. 5 goes with the word is, and is we know goes on top. So 5 is on top. The of is my 10. Of goes on bottom. So, this is my is, this is my of, and this is my percent. 5 is 50% of 10. Now, let's see what happens with the problem. Let's say we have 3 is 25% of what number? Uh, look at that, it didn't tell you what the number is. So, let's look at what we do have. Always look for the percent first. There's my percent. So I'm going to write, move this up a little bit. So we're going to write 25 over 100. My is and my of, well I know the is is 3, is goes on top. The of, I don't know. So I'm going to put an x there because I don't know it. So this is where I use the cross products to solve. So remember, we talked about this in the beginning of the lesson, the cross products are equal with these. So I've got 3 times 100 in one loop. In my other loop, I have 25 times x. Well, 3 times 100 is 300. Still have 25 x's over here. So the opposite of multiplying by 25 is dividing by 25. 
So I'm going to divide by that coefficient there. Since 25 is on top and bottom, it cancels, and I'm left with x on this side. 300 divided by 25, let's take a look. We get 12. So the question said 3 is 25% of what number? And we can say 3 is 25% of 12. That's our answer. Let's take a look at another one. Mm. 5 is what percent of 50? Now, this one, first thing you look for is the percent. But do I know what percent I have? We well, always look right before either the word percent or the symbol. If you don't have a number there, you don't know the percent. If it says what, what percent, we don't know what that is. Now remember, percent is always a number over 100. Since we don't know what the number is, we're going to use a variable. We're going to say x over 100. This stands for what percent. We don't know what it is. It could be anything. Now I'm going to look for my is and my of. My is is 5. Is goes on top. My of is 50. Of goes on bottom. Now cross products. In one loop, I've got 50 times x. In my other loop, I've got 5 times 100. Let's simplify this. 50x equals 5 times 100, and 5 times 100 is 500. Now, I've got 50 times x equals 500. The opposite of multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide by 50 on both sides. That cancels. I have x. On this side, 500 divided by 50 is going to equal 10. So, it says 5 is what percent of 50? Well, we know it's 10, so 5 is 10% of 50. So 10% is the answer. And if you can do these problems, you can do them all. You're either going to be missing your is, or you'll be missing your of, or you'll be missing your percent. That is the percent proportion.